My name is Jim Harris. I'm president of a structural engineering consulting firm in Denver called J.R. Harris & Company. One of the reasons I'm on this team is I'll have a long history of experience with standards of practice and building codes. I am part of the team that NIST has assembled to investigate this collapse in Surfside, Florida. This particular experiment is crucial to the core of this investigation. So it's what we're calling a slab beam hollow joint of the collapse that brought down the portion of the tower that resulted in the large and very unfortunate death toll. First of all, um, emotionally affected by the tremendous human toll. It's important that we figure out how to prevent that from happening. Every detail of this experiment was reviewed by lots of people on the NIST team and at the contractor here in excruciating detail so that we could be sure that what we're testing is valid. This experiment isn't just about taking this specimen and putting a load on it and finding out how much load it takes to break it. We have embedded in that specimen lots of sensors that are telling us what's going on with, for example, the reinforcing steel in there. I would say that our investigation scope is far broader than this one particular test that we're running here or the joint that it represents, but it is a key piece of that progression hypothesis. This investigation, I think, will lead to recommendations on improved practices for assessing the deterioration and the effect of that deterioration on the safety of reinforced concrete buildings. <laughs>